From love is blind to love is blurry, we watch the contestants on the reality hit go through roller coaster relationships with plenty of ups and downs. But where are they now? Did they end up finding the one or are they still single AF? No topic is off limits. Shane and Natalie. We have got to talk about Shane and Natalie because there has been a lot going on recently. The last we saw them was on the reunion show and the two were not together. Natalie admitted that the two attempted to make their relationship work after their wedding. We gave it another shot without the pressures. We just wanted to see if how it would work out. But here's where things get messy. Shane did a tell-all on the Vile Files podcast released March 30th where he didn't shine Natalie in the best light. He made tons of claims, from Natalie controlling what he did during filming to saying that they dated four times after the wedding. Natalie took to her Instagram to clap back and defend herself by posting this. She says that the main reason for their breakup is that Shane was unfaithful to her and flirting with other women. She also set the record straight that they dated twice after their wedding, not four times. She also put the rumors to rest about them meeting up recently to talk about the possibility of reconciliation. But that was before Shane dug himself a hole on that podcast. As of today, they are not following each other on Instagram and it doesn't look like they will be friends anytime soon. Shayna is engaged. Shayna found love. And it's not Shane. In fact, she is ready to take the next step with her boyfriend, Christos Lardakis, and the two are happily engaged. Believe it or not, she's been dating Christos for almost a year, and he stood by her side through all of the Love is Blind drama. That timeline can be a little tricky, so here's a quick breakdown. Season 2 filmed about a year ago in the spring of 2021. So Shayna must have gotten with her now fiancé right after filming wrapped up. Shayna introduced her social media followers to Christos on Instagram. They plan to say their I do's this summer in Greece. 100% shake things up. Sorry ladies, season 2 villain Shake Chatterjee is officially off the market. As of March 2022, he has a new girlfriend and she's blonde. Serious relationships, Mm -hmm. they've all been blonde. Meet Emily. Shake debuted her in an Instagram carousel captioned, good things come to those who wait, don't settle. As for Emily, she has a couple of pictures of them together posted on her Insta too. And this may be a good thing for Shake. She has never watched the show. Sal and Mallory. Like Shane and Natalie, Sal and Mal also tried to make things work after filming. They only met up once though. We gave it an honest shot. Sal told Page Six that he and Mallory went on a date to hash things out, but at the end of the day, it just wasn't going to work. Mallory has been living the single life since the show wrapped. She hasn't revealed much about her dating life, but by the looks of her social media, she is flying solo. The latest pictures of her on her B-Day show her out with girlfriends. No men in sight. Sal revealed he is currently seeing someone. While he didn't share his new partner's name, he confirmed it's not Mal. And that brings us to our next point. Natalie and Sal rumors. Word on the street is that the person Salvador might be seeing is actually none other than Shane's ex-boo, Natalie Lee. Sal insists that the two are just friends, but the two sparked rumors after some flirty back and forth exchanges on Instagram. And Shane even fueled the fire when he answered fan questions via his Instagram stories. Do you and Natalie hate each other now? He replied, ask at Salvador8. Ooh, Sal, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Deep D and Kyle. Sal and Natalie aren't the only ones being talked about in the rumor mill. During the March 4 Love is Blind reunion special, Kyle shocked fans when he admitted his biggest regret was not pursuing a relationship with Deep Tea. I should have tried harder for you. I mean, I I love her so much. She's the best. However, she shot down those rumors telling New York Magazine, the speculation is hilarious. We're playing with fans a little bit, but it's funny. Kyle and I have such a beautiful friendship. Deep Tea and Sal rumors. Oh, that rumor mill keeps on churning. Fans speculate that it could be possible that Deep Dee and Sal are secretly together. They point to two pieces of evidence. Exhibit A. Deep Dee and Sal posted two photos together on Instagram during a cast trip to Las Vegas. The first was a selfie of the two in matching white blazers with the hashtag unshakable vibes. A not so subtle dig at shake. Exhibit B. A picture of Deep Tea posted with Sal at the Love is Blind wedding chapel in Las Vegas where the two are holding the iconic gold glasses. But again, Deep Tea denied any relationship with Sal other than being friends. 
Jarrett and Ayanna still together. Moving on to the couples that made it. Since filming Love is Blind, Ayanna and Jarrett managed to make their marriage work. Of course, Jarrett had to face questions about his strange interaction with Mallory right out of the pods, but quickly apologized to his wife. You know, I'd never want to do that ever again. Um, and that conversation should have never happened. And they have been happy ever since. Now that they have been together for almost a year, the next step might mean starting a family. Nick and Danielle happily married. Despite arguing what seemed like the entire show, Nick and Danielle are still living happily ever after. Since the show, Danielle moved into Nick's home and have been enjoying life together without the pressure of filming. At the reunion, Nick revealed they have gone to couples therapy together, which has helped them to listen more and talk less. And as they near the end of their first year together, they remain a season two success story. Remember Kara and Jason and Joey and Caitlin? You might remember Kara from episode one. She believed she doesn't come off as wifey material. She's a great time, you know, it's not wifey material. But ended up making a connection with Jason in the pods. Jason confirmed his relationship on Instagram. He has since deleted that post and unfortunately the couple has broken up. Then we had Joey and Caitlin, whose relationship didn't get any airtime. The two confirmed the relationship on February 15th in separate Instagram posts. Joey said the two vibed from the first pod date, got way deep, way fast. But in those same posts, the pair revealed that they broke up after a couple of months, but are staying friends. Are you happy for the ones that found the one? And what do you think about those dating rumors? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to keep up to date with all the latest reality TV news and gossip on the Things Reality.